This BMW 128i has a brake light illuminated on the dash, indicating in this case that it needs supposedly some new brake pads. The brake pads were replaced though, never mind the dirty wheels, this was the mechanic, he didn't really clean things up. Brake pads are replaced, that's not the issue, the mechanic did not replace along with those brake pads the brake pad sensor, which indicates when you have low brake pads. And instead of replacing the brake pad sensor today, we're going to just disable it entirely. And the reason we're gonna disable it is because oftentimes these brake pad wear sensors just prematurely tell you there's an issue anyway. When the brake pad gets low, you'll hear some squeaking. So I'm not gonna waste time putting a new sensor in. Instead, I'm going to disable the existing uh, by shorting the two wires on the sensor, the dash will no longer illuminate. I might have a brake pad sensor that's functional anymore, but that's fine. So here I'm underneath the vehicle. This plastic houses two sensor wires. The sensor on the top is the brake pad sensor. It wraps around and attaches to, I've already removed it, the brake caliper area where this little sensor measures the wear of the brake pad. So this is likely the issue with this particular sensor. I imagine these wires are broken somewhere. Back under the vehicle, I'm going to be careful now and not cut the wrong part. These wires, let's cut them. And then I'll strip each of them, wrap them together. These two wires are now connected to one another. You can solder these together and apply some shrink wrap perhaps, or I'm gonna use some crimping tools to crimp on this butt connector and essentially do the same thing. The vehicle's not complete without a few zip ties. So we've added another zip tie. By the way, the BMW 128 has only one sensor on the front, one sensor on the rear. You'll find it on this vehicle on the driver's side. Passenger side front does not have a sensor. With the brake pad sensor wires shorted, now I need to reset the computer inside the vehicle. To do that, I'll insert the key. I don't have my foot on the brake, and I'm going to tap the engine start button. Engine's not yet started. That's what I want. And then I have to wait a little bit until all of these service lights go off and I go back to the clock display. You can see we're at the clock display. So now I'm gonna hold down this button in the corner of the gauge cluster for a few seconds and release right now. So this is a light indicating the, I think this is the brake fluid. I'm going to scroll through the menu using this toggle button here. That's the front brake pads. I want to reset that sensor. In order to select, hold the BC button down. Give it the option to reset. It's resetting. And that one is reset. I'm gonna scroll through again the menu to the rear brake pad sensor. Select and hold BC. BC tap again, and I'm going to reset that sensor. Did I do it right? Let's try it again. Reset, push button, reset. Hold down for, okay, now it's resetting. I had to hold down the BC button. The clock is ticking and we're reset. Let's start the engine and see if those, that brake light turned off. Okay, the brake light is off. Shorting those wires worked quite well. What this means now is that I'm gonna wait until my brakes start squeaking in order to indicate that I need to replace my brake pads. I won't have a sensor that's prematurely going to tell me, replace your brake pads earlier than necessary.